Jill. Now, Jill, this movie takes place in the late 70s. What do you remember about those times? I was two, so I don't really remember much. Um, yes, um, but I think it's just so universal what was happening in this film that it that, that was sort of inconsequential. I wasn't really going to study 1979 um, to do the part, but uh, what is interesting is that because of the economy at that point and what we're going through right now, there are certain similarities in that, uh, I don't know, that desperation to find something better for your family and, and to uh, yeah, I don't know, being torn between being upwardly mobile and or having a, a family and a home and then just staying with a family core center. Um, so tell me, tell me what, um, how you formed the bond with the Culkin brothers and it was such a gorgeous family dynamic and even with Alec Baldwin it just seemed mm -hmm. like you were a family, it was like perfect casting. It was it was kind of easy, you know. I can't say that we really worked hard on the relationships because you meet these guys and they're just these incredible, these amazing people with no facade. There's nothing, uh, you know. What you see is what you get, and they're so humble and so generous, and they kind of reminded me of me myself and my twin sister. So it was very easy to sort of project this family feeling on them, and what which, I, which I still have, to be honest. And then, I, you know, I want, almost, I want to take care of these guys. I don't know, they're, you know, I wonder what they're up to. I, you know, I want to go drinking with Kieran, I'll be honest. <laughs> um, but they're just lovely and, and very sensitive and, and uh, concerned individuals. And they, they helped take care of my three-month-old baby on set, you know, and were wonderful with them. They could make them laugh. They, they were uh, really, really cool guys. Were there other members of the Culkin brood sort of hanging around the set that came to visit at any time? No, just, I, I met uh, their mom once, uh, who was amazing. I had to congratulate her because, wow, um, very impressive job. Uh, just really two together guys. And, and Emma also helped out a lot too with my both my sons. My my older son is kind of in love with her, <laughs> and will hate me if he sees this. But uh, it was really it was a great experience. It was a great family experience too. And in coming into an independent film three months after giving birth too was was kind of daunting until I actually got there and hung out with everybody and and just saw what a welcoming environment it was. And everybody was there because they loved this script. I mean, the fact that you get these brilliant actors together on a project like that, you know, means something's pretty amazing. And it really was one of the best scripts that I've read. Yeah. So. Um, also, I understand some of your scenes didn't quite make the final cut. Yeah. So do you know what, what didn't make it that you were sort of? Seems, well, a lot of the film didn't because originally it came in at two hours and they had to, had to get it down to uh, like half of that. So everybody, Derek, God bless him, had to take out bits of everybody. And uh, so I, what you get on the screen, though, is something that is so, every single scene is, is this perfect gem unto itself. So there's not a wasted second. Um, and Scorsese is one of the executive producers, and, and Thelma Schumacher, I know, looked at a cut and helped Derek with, with the editing process. So it is, it's tight and lean and mean, which is what you want. Although as an actor, you're always sorry to see like the character developmental scenes go, which is what was missing from mine. And, but you get that anyway, just from what, uh, Kieran has one line about my character, missing living in Queens and missing her friends, which kind of says it all. Um, so you sort of discover too that you really don't need that much. It's almost better to leave an audience up to their own imaginations to really realize, oh, God, that's what she's going through. I think Lean and Mean might describe your next project. <laughs> <laughs> lean and Mean. <laughs> the album or Wild Hogs 2? Both. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I mentioned, yeah, the uh, Wild Hogs 2. Again, not totally set. We're waiting for a couple elements, but I just got word on it. And uh, probably shooting in Europe. And the wives of the guys and their bikes will be going to a lot of male strip clubs in Italy. That's all I heard. So I'll, I'll let you know more details, but... Uh, to be continued. To be continued. Absolutely. Yeah. Pleasure. Oh, always pleasure, Robin. <laughs> Keep your clothes on. I know, it's, oh, <laughs> oh, it's tough when you're schwitzing. <laughs>